Uh, full name? Yeah. Arthur George. Arthur George. And how old were you when you twelve? World War Two started. Twelve. And do you have any specifically vivid memories of growing up during the war? No, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, when the, when the war finished, I joined the army mm -hmm. in 1945. Where were you stationed? I was uh, first of all, I went to Warwick, mm -hmm. and then from Warwick, I went to Chester. In Chester to Yeovil, mm -hmm. to the uh, is there anything that you younger people today don't know? Mm -hmm. And then from there I went to uh, across to uh, Italy and Germany. Mm -hmm. So how how did you find army life? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> what did you like about it? Oh, I loved everything because I, I didn't see the sea before I joined the army. Oh wow! You know, I didn't go to Blackpool and then like that. When we got to Dover and we saw the a big garden with a massive big sea, it was, it was a shock. To me. But I uh, went from there. Across the France, yeah. and then we jumped, jumped, jumped the jump tra train, and then uh, we went through Austria and uh, into uh, into France, and then when we went there, we went into uh, all this after a couple of years, old, you know, and. Uh, we went into Palestine, mm -hmm. and then we went into Egypt, and uh, finished up in Egypt, in the Sinai Desert. But, uh, the army life was absolutely... What, what was it like on a sort of daily basis? What would you do? Uh, well, we, we were ambulance driving, and uh, we were moving prisoners here, there and everywhere, you know. It says in my notes that you transported prisoners and you stopped in Germany and Germans were lovely. They were yeah. lovely people, so it's just to God. Were there any, did you like your brothers Well, it's like everything else. It was the, the regime that was, uh, yeah, yeah. was bad. Mm -hmm. but, but the German people, mm -hmm. Well, they, they were good. Mm -hmm. They were good. Of course. Yeah. Oh, I enjoyed yeah. them. Cool. Did you have a? Where did you grow up? Did you grow up in Birmingham? Oh, which Celio? Celio. Right. Did you have any uh, brothers or sisters? I had a uh, brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I started life down in uh, Smalley yeah. in 1927. Mm -hmm. What did you do there? Well, my mother came up to Celio because she was pregnant and she wasn't pregnant with, with my father. Oh, right. You know, and yeah, yeah, one yeah. of them times. So I had six years without a mother. A mother. Uh -huh. and, uh, and somehow they made up. And, uh, as I say, I never knew I had a mother. All right. I thought my auntie was my mother. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So there you go. That's interesting. It's incredible. Where did you uh, go to school? What was school like? Rather bad. That was all right. Mm -hmm. First of all, I started, started off in Tivent Road School. Yeah. And then uh, when I was 11, I went up to the seniors mm -hmm. and uh, went to Rattle Barn School. Then uh, from 14, I mean, the left at 14. Mm -hmm. Then you went to work. Do you remember, oh, where did you work? Well, I went to one place and I hadn't got a lot of shoes, I only got pumped. Mm -hmm. I went down to Shelves in Sturgeley. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went for the job, they said, you ain't coming to work with them. I said, well, I ain't got nothing else. And uh, I went. Um, with a daily mail and mm -hmm. the daily mail boats and that. Oh, right. but, uh, where did I go first? Before you joined the army in 1945, mm -hmm. what were you doing? I was on the youth. 
that was uh, from 12, I was only 12 then, mm -hmm. and uh, we were just uh, ordinary oh, okay. kids about, okay. you know. What did, what did you do for fun during, the, during that time before you uh, joined the army? You made your own fun. <laughs> How would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Probably rogues. <laughs> Never. Yes, yes, yes. You, you would never remember them at all. Yeah. You're not going to run? No. But uh, I enjoyed my army life. Mm. Was it, you said that the travelling was the thing you enjoyed most about it. Oh, that one. I never saw the sea, as I say, yeah. before I joined the army. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. You've answered quite a lot of the questions. Uh, let's have a look. Do you have a bomb shelter? Do you remember using oh, a bomb shelter? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you remember the, the, the first air raid that sounded? And you expect bombs to be falling, you know. Yeah. And we run across into the steps pub, into the cellar. Mm. And uh, that was the first air raid. What was it like being in the cellar? Well, it was all right because it was. Uh, Water in there or whatever. Years ago. But in any other time, when they we had, we had a lot of air raids because of all the factories that had been bombed. Yeah. And uh, we had Anderson shelters, or or you had a, a big iron table that you could get underneath. You know. But to, at six o'clock at night, we used to sit at the door and wait for that, and then go into the Anderson shelter, mm. sleep there all night. Mm. We, we, we took it as it came, mm. you know. It's really cool. Um, we, we had fun. Do you remember one of this? One of the questions I've got here is about like uh, rationing. Yeah. Rationing the food. Do you remember what the food was like before you were on it? Do you remember what you were eating? We never. We were never sure, really. Yeah. No. no, that's interesting. We had a we had a ration book, mm -hmm. and uh, it always seemed to work out okay, you know. Because when when we came up to Selly Oak, that when I met my mother, and that when that was a. It it when the war started in 1935. Mm -hmm. How was it? What, what, how old were you when you realised that your mother wasn't your mother? I didn't know. I didn't know I'd got a mother though. Was in seven years before I saw my mother. Yeah. And knowing her, knowing her, my mother. And that happened at the same time as the war starting, did you More, More or less. less. No. Not really, because, oh, okay. because I, I met her when I was uh, six and went into Tiverton Road School, but that was before the, the war. Okay, okay. That's so interesting. Okay, well, Lauren, can you think of any other questions? The money, oh yeah, can you show us through the money, Arthur? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, it's on, coins are it's only money. pennies and the difference in the yeah. coins today. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you had these coins? Oh, I've had them a long time. I've polished them, but they've all got tarnished now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a couple of uh, one-armed bandits oh, yeah. from Fletcher's. Now I'm all right. You carry on. Just, uh, I was comparing today's with. So, that? for example, what what could you buy with a half penny? Were you good at it? A lot. A lot with a half penny. Yeah. Of course. Don't you get much for a pound these days. You could get a. Mm. An apple, yeah. or a pound of apples for penny. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. What about for, yeah, what about a whole penny? The, it's a whole penny. There's a, 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 there is one farthing somewhere. Have you got any uh, more pennies in the, any more money in that box? Yeah, there's all these. So that's from 1967. This one's from 1944. So that's, that's a World War Two penny. George, George V. George V, yeah. yeah. There he is. Yeah, yeah. Him and Queen Mary. Mm. I remember them. 
I saw the airship. The airship. Oh, really? Yeah. Can I have a look at your list of questions? Yeah. I've just been chatting to you, baby. I've got my own questions. They're all, yeah, just trying to bounce questions back as well. Sorry, go on. I saw the airship when in Drew's line, I was coming down. In Drew, my daughter, me. My sister was taking me to uh, Warden Park, mm -hmm. and as we was coming home, the airship came across, mm -hmm. and uh, we saw that was a band on in '32, I think. Wow! Yeah. Incredible. It was lovely that one. Did during your time in the army, did you did you you don't have to answer this, but did you did you engage in combat? No, no, no. Were you very glad to not engage in combat? Oh, yeah, because when I was in the army, the war had finished. Right, it's 1945. So it was yeah. You know, when the, I came out in 1948. <laughs> okay, cool. Arthur, I think you've answered all my questions. Oh, if Lauren, you're happy then. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you yeah. so much for your uh, time and sharing.